We were sitting at a desk while her heart was racing as Professor Jungkook, her husband, started giving back the graded exams. When he finally gets to you, he gives you a quick, encouraging smile and put your paper on your desk. You open it eagerly, but your excitement quickly turned to disappointment. And 85, you know you did better than that. You couldn't believe your eyes as you were expecting above 95 this time, considering the hard work you put in and your exam well, really well. Your attention went to a girl sitting a few rows away from your seat, Mini, your enemy, the girl who always tried to be you yet jealous of you. She was jumping with excitement holding the paper high. Hey, I got a second rank. Your eyes widened as soon as you heard that and stomach churns with anger because she literally copies your notes and stole your answers and she got more marks than you. You clenched your fist, feeling the sting of injustice while Minnie smirked when she looked at you. This time I'm very amazed with some of you like Minnie, Brian and Jess. You guys did an amazing job in this exam. If you continue working hard, you'll achieve even better results. Your fist tightened as he was praising the girl who doesn't deserve that. Tomorrow we'll be starting a new topic so don't forget to bring your notes. He took a glance at you who wasn't looking in a good mood. Jungkook got a little confused seeing your expressions but he couldn't do anything there. After he left, the students came out of their seats and got busy in their usual activities, talking and guys playing around. You were already angry and to add fuel to your anger, Minnie was showing off in front of her friends as if she earned these marks by herself. I can't believe I got second rank. Although I've studied hard, but I also feel like I've got a natural talent for this stuff. Oh, you are great in everything, Minnie. Her minions and some other girls from the class were treating her like a goddess when all she was doing was to brag about the marks she got with cheating. You couldn't able to hear it anymore and got up from your seat before coming near Minnie. Minnie, can I talk to you for a moment? You said in a cold tone. Her friends looked at you while she put on a fake smile. Sure, what's that? She always tries to show that she's friendly with everyone but only you know her true face. She stood up while you stepped closer to her crossing your arms across your chest. I know you cheated. Her eyes widened in mock innocence. I don't know what you're talking about. You copied my notes and my answers. You didn't earn those marks and you knew it. She scoffed crossing her arms and raising her voice. Jealous much? Just because I did better than you doesn't mean you have to make excuses. You feel the heat rise in your cheeks, but you control yourself. It's not about jealousy, Minnie. It's about integrity. You don't deserve those marks and deep down, you know it. She rolled her eyes and smirked. Oh please, if you weren't so pathetic, maybe you'd get better grades. But I guess being the professor's wife doesn't give you any special treatment, does it? Her friends laughed as she made fun of you. You got even more angry. You think you are so smart, don't you? But everyone knows you are a fraud. You can only get ahead by stealing from others. Minnie steps closer, her face inches from yours. You are just bitter because you are not as good as you think you are. Maybe you should spend more time studying and less time winning. You meet her glare refusing to back down and maybe you should learn to achieve something on your own merit instead of riding on the success of others. Enjoy your fake success while it lasts because it's going to come crashing down. She smirked and looked at you. So what are you gonna do now? Go to your professor husband and cry about it that I cheated your answers and still got better marks than you?
Her friends laughed at you while you looked at her. Oh, I will. Trust me, this isn't over. You walked away from there while she laughed along with her friends. You came in the staff room and luckily there were not many professors sitting, so you straight went to Jungkook who was still going through some papers. When you came near his desk, he finally looked up at you and was a little surprised to see you. What are you doing here? Can we talk? He straight came to the point and seeing you all serious, Junko got a little concerned about you. Sure, is everything okay? You took a deep breath and nodded. It's about the exam. He sighed, feeling relieved. I know what you must ask, why and you did great in your test, but there were some answers where you could have elaborated the explanation and write in more detail. Then why did you give more marks to Mini? She literally copied my notes and my answers. That's why her grace is so high. Jungkook was focused on his papers. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. Maybe she studied harder this time. Jungkook, I'm serious. I saw her copying my answers during the exam. You said getting frustrated. He finally looked up, but his expression is dismissive. Okay, fine. I'll look into it, okay? But right now, I'm really busy. You feel your anger boiling. You are not listening to me. How can you be so calm after hearing that? Because I have to look into it and I'm busy. I said I'll handle it so now go back to your class. You stand there for a moment feeling a mix of anger and heartbreak. He's not taking you seriously and it's tearing you apart. Without another word you turn and leave his office, your vision blurring with tears. You find the nearest bathroom, rushed inside and locked the door. The moment you are alone, the tears started to fall. You lean against the sink, sobbing quietly, the weight of everything crashing down on you. You feel betrayed, not just by Minnie, but by Jungkook too. He's supposed to be the one who believes in you and right now it feels like he doesn't even care. After the university, Jungkook came back home. You were already back as you didn't stop for the extra classes today. Jungkook came to you, who was sitting on the couch. Although you were not looking normal, Jungkook as usual sat beside you. You didn't stay for the extra classes today, why? You didn't reply and was just looking at the television but not paying attention there also. You could have at least informed me. I was looking for you in the whole university. What a boring show this is. You ignored what Jungkook was saying and turned off the TV before walking towards the kitchen while Jungkook was puzzled. Is she ignoring me? He got up and walked behind you to the kitchen. Do you want me to cook something for you? He asked hoping it would lift up your mood or you just talked to him but you just drank some water from a bottle before putting it back in the fridge. You ignored him and was about to leave but Jungkook grabbed your hand stopping you in the middle. Look, I know you are upset about the exam but I told you I would look into it. You remain silent not trusting yourself to speak without letting your anger show. Can we please talk about this? I hate this tension between us. You just shrugged and released your hand from his grip. Why and please don't do it. I miss you. I have to do my homework. You walked towards your room saying that while Jungkook sighed. He knew why you were mad and he genuinely didn't get any time to check Minnie's answer sheet again. But he'll definitely do tomorrow. But you already got mad at him.
As soon as Jungkook came in the room, you pretended to read a book. Jungkook walked near you, giving one more try to change your mood. I'm really sorry if I made you feel like I didn't care about your concerns. It's just been really busy and I didn't realize how serious you were. You flip a page without looking up. I said I would look into it and I will. You know I would never intentionally dismiss something important to you. He closed the book with a little force and put it on the nightstand before turning off the lamp and lie down facing away from him. Good night. This was the coldest good night he has ever heard. Jungkook sighed and slips in beside you, hesitating before speaking. I love you. He says quietly, you say nothing, your silence louder than any word could be. The next morning, Jungkook tries again over breakfast. I was thinking we could go out this weekend, maybe get dinner or see a movie. What do you think? Basie, you mumbled, not looking up from your coffee. He sighs heavily. I know you are upset, but shutting me out isn't going to solve anything, Mayan. You stand up grabbing your bag. I have to go. You said to yourself walking out the door without another word. You sit in your seat still angry over the injustice of your creed and the argument with Jungkook. The classroom buzzes with the usual chatter but you feel detached, lost in your thoughts. When Jungkook enters, you barely look up, still too angry and hurt. Jungkook's eyes scanned the room and landed on you. He noticed the dark cloud still hanging over you. Decided to address the issue head on, he begins the class with a cold tone. Good morning everyone. Before we start today's lesson, I need to address something important. The room falls silent, curious eyes turning towards him. Minnie, can you come up here and bring your exam paper? He asks, his voice steady while Minnie looked taken aback but quickly composed herself and walked to the front with a fake confidence. She gave him the answer sheet while Jungkook took it. Thank you, Minnie. I need you to answer some questions for me. Can you explain your response to question 3? She was nervous and clueless as hell. All the eyes were on her and she could feel the pressure building inside her and the fear of becoming a topic in the class. Uh, well, it's about the economic impact of globalization, right? Yes, could you explain your answer in detail? He said giving a nod. She stammers, trying to recall the answer. I um, wrote that globalization leads to economic growth through increased trade and um, investment. Jungkook's expressions hardened. That's very general. Your written answer was much more specific. Let's try another one. Question 5. Minnie shifted uncomfortably. It's about the factors influencing environmental policy. Jungkook nodded again, then turned to you. Wayan, can you join us please? You stand slowly feeling the eyes of the entire class on you as you walk to the front. Can you explain your answer to question 3? Jungkook asked you while you looked at Minnie, finally she'll going to get a karma for everything she did. You take a deep breath remembering the frustration and anger you felt during the exam. Sure, you say confidently and within a minute you explain the whole answer. Jungkook nodded looking satisfied. And question 5. You nodded and explained the answer as well. Jungkook tried to control his smile as he felt proud of you. He turned back to Minnie who is now visibly sweating. Minnie, it's clear that you didn't understand the material well enough to explain your answers. It's evident that your responses were not your own work. 
The classroom was silent, everyone watching the scene unfold. Jungkook's voice is firm as he continues. I am deducting your marks, Minnie. Cheating is unacceptable and it undermines the integrity of our academic system. Minnie's face flushes with embarrassment as she returned to her seat, her friends whispering behind their hands. Jungkook looked at you, his expression softening. Thank you for taking a stand and addressing this issue. You smile, feeling so satisfied and relaxed now and also happy that he listened to you. Jungkook looked at everyone. As a student, being honest and dedicated is vital not only for your grades but also for your personal and professional growth. Cheating undermines these values and lowers our classroom standards. He looked around with a serious face. From now on, I want each of you to commit to honesty and hard work. If you are having difficulty or feel tempted to cheat, please ask for assistance. Let's collaborate to maintain a fair and respectful learning atmosphere. With that, he nods to indicate he's finished speaking. The students stay quiet, his words hanging in the air. You feel validated, knowing your honesty was acknowledged. As Jungo continued with the lesson, you relax, glad that you got justice. He looked at Minnie who was sitting, face down. Even her friends were making fun of her, but you were happy that she finally got her lesson. He opened the door and slide into Jungkook's car, settling into the passenger seat. Jungkook smiled as he gets in beside you, clearly relieved that you're finally going home together. He started the engine and glared over at you with a playful twinkle in his eye. Now you look like you're in a better mood, he said with a grin. You can't help but smile back. I guess I am. Thanks for taking care of things today. He took your hand in his and gently squeezed it. I'm just glad we sorted it out. I hate seeing you upset. I know, I hate being mad at you, but I wanted you to see this thing. She was bragging about her marks when she literally cheated. She needed to learn her lesson. But how did you know Minnie cheated? You sighed, thinking back to the exam. I noticed her glancing at my paper during the test. At first, I thought it was just coincidence, but then I realized she was copying my answers. And when she got such a high score, it was obvious she hadn't done the work herself. Jungkook nods, his expression serious. I should have listened to you right away. I'm sorry I dismissed your concerns. It's okay, you made it right and that's what matters. He chuckled softly. So how about we get some ice cream on the way home? My treat. Your, sm your smile widened. Ice cream sounds perfect. He smiled and packed on your lips before starting driving. You blushed and covered your face with your hands making him laugh at your cuteness. <laughs> <laughs>